And last of all, the most important is your spirit. Spirit that resides in your heart. All this beauty is only perceived when there is light in your spirit. Otherwise you cannot see all this beauty. You cannot enjoy it. Spirit is the one which is the diamond which shines on this beautiful ring of your body, mind and your emotions. That's the most important thing. That is to be achieved, to be absolutely absorbed into your being. That state should be achieved by all of you. But the growth, if the outside is not all right, then the inside cannot be carried by that weak outside. It's such a strong thing. Spiritual life is a very strong thing. It's so dynamic. It's so powerful. Sometimes, you know, it floods me completely. I mean, I have to control myself. The love just shoots off from the being and just, I want to give it. But I wonder whether you'll be able to bear it. So I have to control it a little bit. That flood may not be born. So you have to enrich your outside to bear that inside beauty. And the more you enrich it, the more you make it strong, the more it will shine. It's so simultaneous because one must understand that spirit is love, is all intelligence, is all awareness. And it knows your problem. It slowly shines. It sees how far you can bear, how far you can go. Then, after realization, when you start looking after your outside, the inside starts shining by itself. But attention should be towards your spirit. All these outside qualities are so joy-giving to the spirit. You can't imagine. Try them. You will enjoy yourself. We have not been able to enjoy ourselves much. See, If we could, we would not shun the jails. I mean, I would be happy in a jail, I tell you, because I can enjoy myself there better. But the one thing is that you cannot enjoy yourself so much when you cannot share it with others also, isn't it? It becomes like that. Without sharing, you cannot enjoy yourself. And that's what should happen to all the Sahaja Yogis. At that level, you should come. We should be at that level. Try to keep your level that high is important. Sometimes you come down. You start criticizing others. Others are also not right. For example, somebody sees somebody filthy, dirty, something like that. The person who is filthy, dirty, of course, is something wrong with that person, no doubt. But that person should be pitied. At least he should be clean. I mean, that's the minimum of minimum. But instead of that, if you start criticizing that person, you also become filthy in your language, filthy in your mind and everything. So why? Leave it. Let that person improve by itself. See that. He has to be clean, he has to be neat, he has to be sensible. This is to be seen by that person himself and not by you. Where is your attention? It's a habit in India. All the parents will ask the children when they are saying, where is your attention? They say, where is my attention? All right. But again, he's standing there. Where is your attention? Again, he'll be on the watch. Where is my attention? We have to look after our attention. That's all. Where is my attention? Is it on the spirit? I hope this time we are going to achieve a lot because I have a feeling that this time in all the pujas I am really working very, very hard. Very hard. And if you people little bit, little bit decide that we are not here for enjoyment, for buying clothes or saris or anything, but we are here for our ascent. If that is decided in your hearts, 
I'm sure it will work. Please try to control your attention. Control. Chitta nirodha. Control it. Where is it going? See. Where is my attention going? Ask. Where is the attention going? Ask yourself. Am I there or am I out? Otherwise you will have very uh, funny awareness, very funny awareness. But the most thing is that in your heart, in your mind, don't allow funny ideas to come in. First of all, watch it in your mind. It will give you ideas like this man is not good, that man is not good. Just don't listen to these things. Just listen to yourself that where am I? What am I doing? What have I done for Sergio? My vibrations are they all right? Am I helping others? Where is my attention? The attention has to be what am I doing with what Mother has given to me? Now at Vishuddhi, as you know, we are collective and we have connections with others. So he said all this is a Leela and in a very uh, playful, mirthful way you should deal with others and create friendly with others and create relationships. So this is the Vishuddhi but the other point I try to say that the relationship with others, anything, if it does not have depth, if it is superficial, if it is for ego or for some conditioning or some calculations of the mind, it is at a mental level if you are friendly with anyone or for emotional level if you are friendly with anyone, without any depth in yourself, it can be very temporary and will have no effect whatsoever. So you have to have a depth and to get to the depth you must look after your Agya Chakra. And the Agya Chakra is nothing but your attention. If your attention is all the time roving about, paying attention to thousand and one thing, then you cannot develop that concentrated penetration of your attention into things. and. Whatever you do is very superficial, it's not joy-giving. So the combination should be that you should look after your should be of today, for example, you can have a very playful, mirthful time together, enjoy with each other. But you have to know that it has to come from your heart or from your spirit. So how to touch that, that depth? can only be possible if your attention is on the spirit and not on frivolous things. Because of that you will become thoughtlessly aware when you will be enjoying and that what you will, whatever you do will be very genuine. It will not have uh, an artificial. That is why the second part is after Leela, what we call is the Jaina part where you deal with relativity. your worries, to your troubles, to your past, to this, to others, or does it go to your spirit? This is important to see that your attention <coughs> is on your spirit. <coughs> if your attention is on your spirit, then you develop that depth, that genuineness in your relationship with others.